axis of symmetry would be if I wanted to fold this parabola in half, this side would line up with the other side. That's the axis of symmetry. These sides are equal. Vertex is the lowest point or the maximum point. It doesn't, you know, depends on which way the parabola is. Where the y crosses the y axis is called a y intercept. So y crosses. Um, some of it, yes, some of it, no. Crosses the y axis. What would you call these points where the where the uh, curve crosses the x-axis. There's two of them. There's the x-intercepts. That's an x-intercept, and this is an x-intercept. Well, these are the parts of the parabola you need to know. Okay, Joe, do you have that written down? For your notes, so you can put them in your notebook. How can you get... This x value right here, just for information, I don't know if we're going to be testing this, but this point is halfway between the two x-intercepts. It's the halfway point. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Be nice if you participated with this. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay. That's okay, I'll wait. Because your job is just going to be labeling parts of a parabola today. So it's not too bad. Now, the axis of symmetry... Well, let's, we'll look at the next slide, but this is going to be x equal to some number. I don't know what number it is, but it's going to be a number. It's the equation of a vertical line. And then we'll just review a second, and then we'll do some problems. So you should be able to get this all done before you leave today. This is all we're going to do. Hello. Okay, we ready now? Lalo, do you have it all labeled? Okay, not yet. Those of you who are ready, you can turn the page and see what the next thing is, because the next thing is we don't have a page. Can you, those of you who have a piece of paper, can you write down the three forms for parabolas? There's a... A factored form, a general form, and a vertex form. That's what we're going to do next. Oh, I was very busy. Now we're ready? Okay, remember general form, Cole? There's no parentheses in it. It's just some number times x squared plus b times x plus c. Can somebody make up one? 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Well, that's what that would look like. We had that on our first worksheet that I'm not sure I have from everybody. Wait, so these are our notes. Do we want to do them again? Yes. Those of you who are working on an iPad will submit them to me. Some of you need to give me the ones from the first one because you won't do them otherwise. Joe. But they were up. I didn't have these. Yeah, but you need to do them. So it's no big deal to submit them. Joe. Well, you can. Well, you can. It's just an example. If I could factor that, I don't think I want to try. <laughs> what notes are these? These are day two. Okay, you guys? Those are factored form. Well, you got to write it down. I'm not going to take a picture. <laughs> okay. You have it in your on your iPad. And this would look like y equals x minus 3 squared plus 5. This is nice because it gives me the vertex. Does anybody know what the vertex of this one would be? Where would the x coordinate be? You guys, to find the vertex, you want to make this one 0. Well, we'll make that 0. x equal to what? 3. And then you just take this number for the y. So y equals 5. 
So that vertex would be at 3, 5. Okay, guys, that's why we knew when you turned your assignments in, Cole, that your graphs were wrong, because Jeremy and I can look at this and see the vertex there, and if your vertex was in the wrong place, we knew that. Well, you have quick graphing to do it. Okay, those are just to review the three forms. Okay. That's okay. Henry, are you going to do anything? Mariah, you, do you have your iPad or do you want a piece of paper? So we just did, uh, we reviewed that, and when we finish, I'll put the pieces, but you'll probably figure it out. Does order matter? Yes, it does. X comma 5. X comma 5. X comma Y. Yes. Yeah. It's just going to look like a number times X squared plus a number times X plus 6. Okay, there. Everything's there now. <laughs> I'll, I'll put the first page back. And I'm making a little video so you can watch it. So it's just, all we're doing today are labeling parts of a parabola. So it's not particularly difficult. Okay, Joe, are you ready? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, Ray. I want, I like to do the easy things first. What's easy here? Okay, the vertex. The vertex is right here. Please write this in an ordered pair form. Where is that? Two what? Two what? Negative one. This is as hard as the homework is. Is that hard? Is that okay? Okay. Julian, what's this ordered pair name? Is he right? What's the name of this coordinate? The X is what? Three, and what's the Y? Zero. What's the other one? Zero. One is zero. One is zero. Oh, <laughs> when you do the x-intercepts, the y-coordinate is zero. Okay, Mariah? Yeah. Taylor? What's the uh, y-intercept, Taylor? The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Where is that? Ordered pair, x is 0, y is 3. Now, for the hard part, Joe, I want the axis of symmetry. This is the axis of symmetry. What's 2? No, it's the equation of a vertical line. What's the equation of the vertical line? Cole, what is it? What's two? You're right. Something's, something is two. What's two? X is two or Y is two? Look at the look at the picture. The X is always two. That's it. So that's what you're going to do on your assignment. Then we'll try the next one. Suzanne, you got that? Yeah. Oh, you get it. Okay. Not quite ready? Okay, Alex and Mariah. Mariah, you need to be with me here. You need to be with me. Ready? Do I have another one? Oh, this one we have to draw. Sure. Skip the axis of symmetry. No, Henry's coming up. So put the, put the points on there first. Yeah, because that makes it easy. Okay, Julian? You guys do it on your iPads. Draw it. Put the x-intercepts in. That's right. Y-intercept is 0, 5. Make it a bigger dot. I can't even see that. <laughs> yeah, he does. Cole, you do it and, see it and check him. 
You don't know how to graph zero five? Graph three negative four. Where's that? What? He's doing it. You do it on your iPad. One zero is right. That's right. And this is three negative four. This is not three negative four. Three negative four. Okay, now let's draw graph the vertical line x equals three. Do you want to use my tools? Pick whichever one you want. Can't do the curve. <laughs> okay, so it starts at x equals three. Notice that this is the same here. That's the same as that. So I'm going to start at three and make a vertical line. Yep, at three. No vertical line. Remember what verticals are? You know. Yeah. Now, can you draw the parabola? Nope. So take a different color. You got to get a different pen. No, I don't know what. You can try that. I don't know what it does. Never seen it before in my life. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but, wait, it goes through three negative four. It's too low. Too low. There. There it goes. No, it, the vertex is right there. Oh, right there. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah, put the pen down. I can extend it, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. I can move it, but I don't want to move it. I just wanted to make it a bigger parabola. The skinny one. Okay. Do you see how to do that? Okay. You should be saving these. I don't have my Dropbox open yet. I need to do that. I don't think there's anything else there. There isn't. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to name parts today. You should easily get this done before you leave. I expect to see it done before you leave. <laughs>